In an airport hangar, the making of a disaster got underway. It feels really gross. <laughs> Ew. About 80 people volunteering to serve as victims in the simulated incident. I'm planning on being an EMT in the future or a paramedic, so I thought it would be fun to be on the patient side of the whole process. Airport operations, airport units code 2, Airbus 220 landing 10 minutes, runway 6, respiratory. 82 souls on board, 1,400 gallons of fuel. In the simulation, the airplane overshoots the runway and there is a small fire. In all, over 75 agencies were taking part in the live drill, which is required by the FAA every three years. The overarching reason we do this is to ensure the public safety and that we do have an adequate incident command structure and that the, the first responders are familiar with operating on an airport. It's not like driving on a highway. While the plane was really two school buses put together and covered, organizers say the inside mimics the cramped quarters of the Airbus 220, giving first responders a feeling for what that is like. The incident commander says with any kind of mass casualty event, the first few steps are critical. Typically you have to set up and start having people tracking where people are going and stuff like that, otherwise it just turns into chaos. Once the drill is complete, the evaluation will begin almost immediately. And while they don't know what that will show, as the airport director put it, there's always room for improvement. In Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.